Well, my husband was about 23 when he learned that he had PKD and his mom has it. A couple of his family members have it. He actually went to a doctor's visit and it was for, I think it was for just allergy testing. And in that appointment, they discovered he had high blood pressure. So he knew right away that he had it with that being one of the symptoms of polycystic kidney disease. So sure enough, he ended up having it. So for about 15 years, he battled going in and out of the hospital with just complications that come with PKD, with cyst rupturing, that comes with internal bleeding, pain. He is now 42. So about three years ago is when the transplant took place. But for about 15 years, he struggled with it. We thought it would not affect him the way it did until he was a little bit older with the history of his family. I think he just works very hard. Maybe it took a, a harder toll earlier. So the year of 2020, with it also being 2020, um, which was also a blessing in disguise because I was home with the kids and he was he was really sick the whole entire year. On average, his numbers would drop about 4% a year. That year, he started about 17% and it dropped down to 4% by the time we were officially ready for transplant. So it, it was very rapid. So in about... June of that year, they decided to start the transplant process. And I, I believe I had matched his mom with step one many, many years ago. Um, she did end up having another donor and you know, what if he has it, what if we have children? So, <clears throat> but with me knowing that I matched her, I thought maybe it was a good chance that I matched him. So we decided to start with me and it ended up being that I was a match. So the transplant process was pretty long. It was from June and then of 2020, the transplant actually took place January of 2021. So it's definitely a rigorous process and he was pretty ill, but he's doing great. It's been three and a half years now. He's had some minor complications. The medications can cause this or they can cause that. One of the things that has happened with him is he is now pretty much a diabetic. So he doesn't have to do insulin yet, but he does have some medications. Um, that didn't start until about three years later, though. Crazy, though. We did the PKD walk. We did all these things uh, before this even happened. But I'm also in a pageant. And my platform is polycystic kidney disease, which has given me an amazing amount of exposure to also work with Donate Life as well. And we have an event in September for the walk. And then we also, as a family, wrote a book. So this is our stories book. This is Miles. <laughs> Uh, me, Reese, and Brady, you know, that it took quite a toll on the children. This can be found on Amazon. Um, I, we still have videos that pop up on Facebook from when my husband came home. And, you know, it's hard to even watch them because they, I don't think they really fully understood the process of it. So hopefully this book will help other families going through the same thing. Um, I know the day I came home, I found out that I was a match. I was really excited because that just meant that didn't have to be taken from someone else or someone else didn't have to go through that process and I was excited he was excited the kids are not excited because now that means mom is sick too so now you have both parents but he's doing great and hopefully it stays that way <laughs> a lot of testing if you're going to be a donor. I mean, a lot of psych testing as well, just to make sure you're mentally understanding what you're getting into. You know, this was my husband. So for me, I don't think I needed any of that testing. This is something I thought about for the whole time I found out he had it. Um, that wasn't a question for me. But if it is somebody wanting to donate to somebody, I mean, you can live a very full life. I have no complications. I'm very healthy. I mean, you have to be careful of taking ibuprofen, drink your water. It's very, very minor things. But I have nothing bad to say about it. I, if you have any hesitation whatsoever, just definitely check with the transplant team. There's multiple support groups that I'm a part of on Facebook too. And I really don't come across people that regret these kinds of things because you're really helping save a life and a family. So fortunately for us, my mom, who is actually here now too, she helps a lot she stayed with us because they do make sure that you have help when you are done too. So if you're going to be a donor, you need help after. Now it was my husband and myself during the year of COVID. So my kids were home too. So again, I'm thankful for that because we just had extra help and everything, but just making sure to take care of yourself and plan ahead a little bit. But I feel like even a good week, I was up doing things and 
my husband, I think he recovered even quicker than I did. So, but I think he was so used to being sick that when he got the kidney, he instantly felt better. So. I think just making, creating awareness for it is important. You know, this is a genetic disorder that can affect our children too. And every day you hear about new technical advances that they're coming through. And I mean, let's just end this, let's end the disease. There are so many things that they can do out there now. And I know that they're trying the processes and stuff, but hopefully the next generations won't have to go through these things. You know, and again, fortunately, a kidney is not one of the harder organs. Um, it's not a heart, it's not a brain, you know, lung. So at least it's a little bit easier, but to think of my children having to go through this one day is not a fun process. So my husband too, the medications take a toll on the liver. So, you know, we've always talked about that could be next because you can donate part of your liver. So what else do you need out of there? <laughs> I just wish these things weighed more. <laughs> before pageantry even we did the pkd walk and then after being recruited people saw what i was doing on facebook with the pageant and stuff like that my platform having a platform like that gives you just a much bigger voice so i was able to share the opportunities just came flying at me people were trying to recruit me for all their meetings and through that i met lee um so he's given me so many different names and opportunities and with that I worked with the PKD foundation for about six months and I was actually on the Milwaukee chapter and then they asked me to take over as an ambassador now so not that that wasn't a goal of mine I just didn't even realize it was a goal so um, being able to help plan the events having people see also what I'm doing social media is huge and we've had tons of girls from different pageant systems to now join um, writing the book was another opportunity. You know, these things just kind of keep coming in. There's so, so many ways. Um, creating different Facebook groups too, being part of the support groups and just asking questions really if you have any and 